Hi guys, my name is Jude from EasyTex. Earlier this month, I made a video on how to upgrade your laptop hard drive to an SSD without reinstalling Windows and without losing your files. This video is more like an extension to that, so instead of replacing your hard drive with an SSD, here we will be replacing our optical drive with an additional drive. And by additional drive, I mean either SSD or HDD, it doesn't really matter. The steps are basically the same in both cases. So without any further ado, let's get to the process. In replacing an optical drive with an additional drive, there are three main steps involved. And the order of these steps depends on your needs. So we have the software transfer, the hardware transfer, and the configurations. The software transfer involves the copying of your operating system, applications, program files and folders and system settings to your new drive. The hardware transfer is the actual physical replacement of your optical drive with an additional drive. And the final step which is the configurations involves setting up your PC so as to use the drives the way you want it. Now before you go ahead removing your optical drive, first check and see if your laptop already has two hard drive bays, especially if you are using a 17 inch like this one or some other larger laptops. Usually the reason for replacing your optical drive with an additional drive is either to combine your HDD with an SSD or to extend on your storage capacity. Either ways, if your laptop already has two hard drive bays, then you probably don't need to remove your optical drive except you want to add a third drive which is also possible using similar process. So first you are going to need a hard drive caddy like this one, but before you go ahead to order or purchase one, check to confirm the size of your optical drive because there are two sizes. The thick 12.7mm and the thinner 9.5mm. You might be able to tell the difference by merely looking. Slimmer laptops usually carry slimmer drives but I will advise you to take out your optical drive and take an actual measurement to verify the size. Once that is done, then go ahead and order the caddy that corresponds to the size of your optical drive. I will add links to where you can purchase these caddies in the description section. So I assume you already have your caddy. But before you go ahead to attach your drive to it, you first have to decide what configuration you want. Usually if you are combining SSD with a HDD, then you would want to run your main operating system from the SSD and use the mechanical hard drive for storage, otherwise you won't get much benefit from the combination. If you are yet to transfer your operating system, applications and files to your SSD, then you should follow the steps I showed in this video on how to upgrade your laptop hard drive to SSD without reinstalling Windows and without losing your files and folders. I will also add a link to this video in the description section. So here I will be attaching my hard disk drive to the caddy because I already have my SSD in the hard disk bay. So I'm just going to go ahead and carefully slide in my hard drive to the connector in the caddy. And using the screws that normally come with it, I'm going to fasten the drive so that it doesn't come loose due to vibrations. Then I also have to transfer the retaining brackets from the optical drive to the caddy and while doing that you need to pay attention to the direction of the brackets. An easy way would be to place the drives next to each other this way. Then unscrew the bracket from the optical drive and attach it to the caddy. Another thing to transfer is this plastic right here. You need to be more careful with this one because the clips are usually not very strong. So using a little flat screwdriver like this, carefully relieve the clips one at a time till the plastic is easily removable. Then in the same direction, lightly press it into the caddy until the clips snap in place. Now fit it into the optical drive compartment and fasten it firmly in place using the screw. Yeah. 
And that takes us to the final step, which is the configuration. Here you basically need to set up your BIOS so that it boots from the drive with your operating system. If you have your OS on the drive attached to your hard drive bay, then likely you don't have to change any settings in your BIOS. But if you have your OS on the optical drive compartment, then you need to go into your BIOS and configure it to boot from the attached drive. You can do that from boot up using the function key or escape key depending on your laptop standards. Then navigate to the boot order or boot priority and move the drive with your operating system to the initial boot device. Here I won't be changing mine because I already have it in the right order. Then save your settings and exit. And now you are good to go. Simply boot up your laptop as usual, then go ahead and copy your files and folders to the storage drive as you choose. And that completes the session. If you have any questions regarding the procedure in this video, please post in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification icon for updates on future videos. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.